Welcome back to the Home Kit Life. I'm Josh, got my cameraman Braden here with me, and today we are talking about the Eufy Cam 2K Pan and Tilt. Let's get this thing unboxed. Now that we've got that unboxed, it's pretty simple, really. It does rotate on this base, which is nice. It's got like a little, I don't know, mounting thing that just kind of like twist locks into here. And then if you want, you can pull this up and there's a, a card slot right here for it. So pretty good. Just takes micro USB for power. Yeah, let's get this thing set up and then we can take it up and we can install it where we're gonna put it. All right, so we got that thing paired. Uh, we went through the Eufy app first to get it all joined, and now I'm gonna try to add the accessory because it hasn't shown up in HomeKit yet. But it did join, we did join the Wi-Fi network first in the Eufy app, so kind of hoping this one. Setup was successful. There we go. Successful. successful. All right, so we're gonna put this in the backyard. Backyard for an indoor cam, you say? Why would we do that? That is because we have a screened in porch area and we want to put it back there. And I figured that would be the perfect place for a pan and tilt because it can kind of scan around the backyard there. So, all right, uh, let's see. Is it in there? It's in there. Hi, Brayden. Call it back porch. Now you can tell what's what. All right, let's get this thing mounted and then we'll see how it works. All right, welcome back. We got it installed. Gonna open the home app now. And you can see here it is in the back porch. Uh, but, you know, I, I can't figure out how to, I don't think you can pan and tilt here in the home app which kind of sucks but i guess is to be expected this is kind of a newer device but if we go back to the eufy you get the pan and tilt controls here in the eufy app so we can now say adjust this way adjust that way yeah so anyway we ended up mounting it upside down um we <laughs> We uh, didn't realize it, but it didn't come, it, you need a mounting arm if you want to mount it on a like vertical wall coming out. And then it, it has like, you can use the, um, you can screw on the, the twist plate onto the, the mounting arm. So what we did instead is just use a two by four and we mounted it upside down. And then you can come in here to the mounting guide and we rotated the image 180 and that rotates it also in HomeKit. So definitely like you need to have the UFI app installed and set up and you, you add it there first and then you go to HomeKit and you can add it to the, the Home app that way. Overall, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. You know, at the price point that the Pan and Tilt is at uh, and the quality that we're getting out of it and the fact that we can actually just move it around and control it. To me, this is great. I, I would love to see the controls exposed to HomeKit so we could kind of pan and tilt in the Home app. But to me, that's not a deal breaker. I'm still getting a really good image. I'm getting HomeKit secure video. So, you know, to me, this is, this is a great, great camera. I would give it an A plus. Um, let's look at the, yeah, stream, yeah. So, you know, let us know if you have any questions. It was pretty easy to mount, but if you are gonna do it against a vertical wall, remember you need like a mounting arm that comes out and then a, it's got a screw that comes up that you put the, the plate onto. 
yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, thanks for watching. Like we're building an Apple smart home every week. And uh, you know, you're joining us on this journey as we figure these things out. Uh, you know, we're just buying things, installing them, setting them up, and uh, hopefully you find some value in it. If you do, you can hit that thumbs up button and uh, the subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified as we're putting these out every Sunday, you can hit that bell as well. And if you haven't already, we also put a podcast out every week, so be sure to check out the podcast. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.